Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here, back with Oxygen Not Included, the 100k challenge. And I was kind of doing some stuff off camera, a little bit of cleanup, and I got the alert zombie spores, zombie spores. I'm like, what's going on? There's two dupes of zombie spores right now. And I took a look down here with the germ overlay, and we have some zombie spores. <laughs> uh, it's kind of out of control. I didn't really realize that this was happening, but Zombie Sport is pretty rough on the dupes. I think Maya has it here. Check this out. Minus 10 to all stats. Time to recover is 17.9 cycles. So, we need to do some <laughs> emergency work here. Um, I think what I'll do is probably use my Buddy Bud seeds, which give off floral scent here. I've got a bunch of them and kind of plant them down here to try to counteract the zombie spores. I think that'll work. So we're going to try that uh, with, let's see here, decorative pots maybe. Or we could do the arrow pot. Whichever we have room for here. Let's see. I kind of like the arrow pot. So let's do, let's do some of those. We're going to do one here. Maybe one here. Just kind of all the way down. I might want to airtight. Oh, geez. That's the third one. Uh, yeah. We're gonna. <laughs> this is bad. I'm gonna speed things up here a bit. I did a bunch of stuff off camera, um, but most of it was just clean up. So these desalinators used to be one level down. And I moved them up because I want to put a steam turbine here to suck up the heat from this hot, polluted oxygen vent which is giving out oxygen at 500 degrees and I wasn't really able to keep up with it. So the idea would be, would be to put um, conductive tiles here to let the heat into here and then use this as a kind of a water chamber. So that's the idea. I had to move my power line as well. So let's get some buddy bud in here. Pronto. I think this might help. Buddy Bud can grow 20 to 40. That might be a problem. Uh, right here should be okay. Oh, we just ran out. So let's go dig up some of these ones here. Because we don't really need them up here so much. That doesn't work. Let's try that. Uproot. I think there's an uproot thing here. Harvest plants? No. We'll just do it like this. We'll replace them with something else. I should probably leave a few in here. Other projects going on are... Well, I finished the research, so that's good. Now we have all the rocket research done. I think I might actually take up these... They're kind of nice buildings, but we don't need them anymore. Kind of the end of the, oops, the end of the research era. Zombie spores. Oh, that's four people with it now. Oh, jeez. Not good, not good. Oh, look at this. Oh. It just kind of was creeping its way up. Buddy bud to the rescue, please work. <laughs> Let's see if that's helping. Uh, I don't really see any floral scent getting being given off there. It's got a lot to work or fight against. Now they still they're not dead. They're just like oh. Okay, that th there is a way to fight it. I think I th with the medical bay. Let's see here. I might not have the right stuff. Sick bay assignment. I think I have a sick bay. Got some medical packs. Uh, I've never really encountered this problem before. Zombie spores have never been an issue for me. Now 
Now, do they just go in here automatically? It sounded like you could s assign them. Gossman. Idle. How do we get you in there? How do we get you in the sick bay? Not allowed by schedule. Oh. Oh, no treatable illness. Maybe they can't treat themselves. Oh, okay, uh, priorities, doctoring. No, that's allowed. Why can't they fix themselves? Hmm. Oh, some dupes can't, okay. I'm a total noob when it comes to disease, actually, because I never really encounter it. How do we assign dupes to the sick bay? Bedside manor. We do have a few. We have one doctor. Maybe we need. Maybe we need more doctors. I don't know. Let's make doctoring very high. <laughs> Zombie spores, sick pay assignment. There's no way to assign them to sick pay. Come on. You can assign them to the bed. That works, but there's no assignment for these things. Oh well. Uh, hopefully the buddy bud thing works. Oh yeah, we got we got floral scents. We got floral scents here. Okay, that's kind of working. More. We need more. Let's get him on here as well. Maybe stick him here. Too hot? No, that'll work. And we actually have to kill them off somehow. Now, I did have a chlorine explosion many episodes ago. And that kind of killed it off, but... The chlorine level would be around here, actually, if I pumped chlorine in here. We could just do something crazy, like open this up. I'm going to do that, and I may regret it. We're going to have to clean the chlorine back up. But you know what? Let's just try it and hope for the best. Just let that chlorine fly out. Uh-oh. The whole colony is going to get zombie spores. Let's make sure it's not in the oxygen supply, because that would be really bad. Okay, we're fine there. We do have zombie spores right here, though. Okay, we need a plant right here. Let's do... Flower pots here. Zombie spores, oh my gosh. And it lasts 20 cycles. Oh boy, oh boy. I didn't think it would get this bad. To tell you the truth, because they're in their suits down here, you'd think they'd be somewhat safe, but. Okay, we are gonna seal the base up completely though. So let's get on that, just in case. We don't want them got to seal this up and then build a liquid lock. Oh, we got a little bit of chlorine bleach stone falling on the ground there. That's actually kind of a good thing. Am I going to be able to build a liquid lock with this here? I think I need a... Uh, what should I call it here? Kind of like a passage thingy. This thing. Tube crossing. Or can air pass through that? Uh, this might be kind of a bad spot for this. Got to seal all these holes. Actually, the whole base is open to this side. <laughs> oh, actually, that's not the base. We need to seal it up here, really. <laughs> but we don't want them running through the liquid lock without their suits on. So yeah, I'll put it down here. And we'll have to seal up this somehow at some point. Okay. I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll find out.
The other projects I got going on, I'm trying to build another rocket. Let's get those planted. One project at a time, though. A little pressure. Can air? I don't think air can flow this through this. Okay, good. Let's get this liquid lock in. Do I want it there or do I want it here? I want it there. Let's check things. Okay, we got floral scents there. I think they'll maybe start fighting it off? I don't know. It doesn't look like it's really working here. My water tank's uh, getting pretty full here. And the petroleum is actually filling up really fast. That's why I'm building more rockets to use that up. The base is a mess for sure. I'm trying to slowly clean things up. Okay, let's stick petroleum in here. And hopefully we won't forget about it. Okay, rockets. I'm building up a small rocket here. Just need... We just need to get the top on. And I'm going to need a gantry right here. So we got to get rid of these here. And I'm going to need... Actually, I need to finish deconstructing this ladder first. Oops. Kind of two at a time. Get down to here and then... I already set up the automation here or the conveying here. So it's going to convey the stuff onto a mesh tile which doesn't conduct any heat. So things will just build up there. Oh, come back. Come back. Do these one at a time. Kind of painful. The other thing you'll probably notice is that they're not flying anymore. The lag was too bad. Frame rates were just terrible. They were going down to like a one. And it made the game unplayable. So, no more jet suits. Oh, I missed one. I think turn's gonna fall. Oh, oh. So other cleanup that went on, uh, this room down here was a total mess. And I tried to do a liquid lock, but my petroleum actually froze. So I'm back to a regular filter and we're sending the natural gas down here. It's actually, it doesn't really go anywhere yet. So I'm gonna have to continue this. We'll do a low priority pipe down here. And that's eventually going to head into our natural gas power room. Now, I, I didn't plant any zombie spores anywhere. Okay, this is good. Good thing I remembered to come back here. That's good. So that's sealed. That's sealed. That is not sealed. Now we're gonna have to get rid of the CO2 somehow. And I gotta seal up this whole side of the... This isn't really the base, this is supposed to be on the outside, but... I think for now we're okay though, because this is all floral scent in here right to about here and then they get in their suits and they should be okay in their suits. But we do want to make the base airtight. We got a big leg spike there, that was weird. I think I need to, if I'm gonna seal this, I'm gonna to have to put some tiles here. Goops are getting really fast because they've leveled up their athletics quite a bit. Oh, 
all the CO2 we're going to have to deal with. I'm going to let it down to... This is going to be the... We could deal with it right here in this room. Hey, you. What are you doing there? You don't belong out of your cage. You're going to mess things up for us. Send the whole colony after him. Oh, they didn't get him. Oh yeah, there, there he is. In the form of meat. Maybe I can CO2 scrub right here if I kind of push things over a bit. Since this is going to be the bottom of the base, uh, okay, let's seal this up here. What did I do there? <laughs> That's kind of ugly, but, uh, hmm. I think about a different way of dealing with that in a bit. More buddy bud. Let's see if we can get some more down here. Oh, it's too too hot here. Okay, we gotta gotta deal with this to get rid of this heat. That was my main project that I was working on. We kind of cl gotta clear this out of all the gas first. Make a vacuum. Let's get that going. Stick a pump in there. Don't think it really matters where. Actually, let's stick it here. Steel. And just vent that out over here. So yeah, we want to vacuum in here so that there's no other gases and then just to, we'll trickle some water in here. And then we're probably good. We need some power here. Let's just sneak off this line here. Start to seal this up. But before we do all that, we're gonna to have to let some heat through this thing. Because we want to replace these tiles to conduct the heat. Hmm. It won't take long to make a vacuum here, I don't think. Or get close to having a vacuum. Okay, let's uh, let's sweep this out of here just to make it a bit cleaner. And our water is going that way. Okay, that's good. That's fine. Or dupe. Let's get some water ready f to go in there. And I think we'll just bite the bullet here. And put some metal tiles here. Lead. I think that will be fine. That'll conduct some heat. We'll just put one for now and see how hot it gets. We might melt our gas pump. We could put some water in this way. Let's do a uh, sculpture. Right there. Maybe put a tile here to make sure that it doesn't fall down here. this tile. The tile is 97 degrees. Let's do some shift plates here to conduct the heat up. And maybe just do the rest here because I want to conduct all that heat. What's this thing turn off? Next dormancy, eight cycles. Okay, good. We got nine zombies poured. I want to figure out the sick bay thing, but 
Maybe we just don't have enough doctors. Let's check our uh, skills here. We got... Where's my doctor? I got one doctor. Rowan. Maybe we can get some more doctors. Who else likes medicine? That has some free skill points. They don't like medicine, but they got some freedom here. Let's do all three there. And who was that? Ellie. Okay. Let's make sure Ellie can actually do treat. I think everyone's able to and has high priority. Yeah, we should be good. More food. God. We have 5 million calories. I can't even, like... The calories are just out of control. And it's mostly due to this room here. I've only been feeding them tiny little bits of dirt. 10 kilograms of dirt. As much as they can fill it. And it's resulted in... Let's see here. 49 shovels. 16,000 calories each. But they take 100, cal 100 cycles to grow, so... But well, that I think is a good chunk of the food. And then we had a whole bunch of, oh yeah, look at all the barbecue. I also got 2 million calories of fried mushrooms. But I cut one of the mushroom farms out and we're just down to this one now. And we're out of slime at the moment. So whenever you get little bits of slime, they make some mushrooms, but we got too much food. I removed one of the hatch farms, branches. I think I'll probably remove some more here. You know what? Uh, should we get rid of the other one? No, we'll leave it for now, just in case. This is a bit of an exploit, I think. This is too easy. Because we could feed them little bits of dirt like this forever. We got so much dirt. Let's see, how many agriculture have we got? 647 tons of dirt. Hasn't really been going down. Oh, nails. Why don't you go to the medical clinic? Maybe they don't have the right drugs? Maybe that's the issue? Oh, was someone just there? Medical pack. Medical pack is good for... Slime lung. Extremely powerful. Effective against slime lung. We can't really make this though because we have no sun nymph eggs. And I'm not going to... These are kind of a pain to make. But... Hmm. We might need them? Can we learn more about slime lung here? Uh, not slime lung, but zombie spores. Zombie spores. Temperature ranges. Uh, everything. Pressure range. Oh, we could kill it with pressure. Killed by solid liquid. Disinfected by... Yeah, okay. What about treating it? Let me know in a comment if you know how to deal with this. Because I've never really encountered it to this level before. Okay, let's check our rocket here. We want to get that going. This rocket's safe to go. This is the exploration rocket. Let's go up here. Let's see how far we can go. We can go to... This one, we've totally just, like, gone to it already. What do we want, though? Neobium? 4%? Sure. Let's go there. And let's get this other rocket going. I think it... The, I used the rocket calculator. It said 332 of each. Oxalate and petroleum to get this rocket lifting off. I think I want it right there. Now you're stuck, you little guy.
that and then put the top on. Little tiny rocket. Petroleum line's good. Unreachable build. Hey, I don't I think we need a ladder right here for them to get up here. And then we can continue on. But I also want to seal in the rocket silo here. We'll just take that right up. And we gotta be able to open the doors up here. You used to be able to just launch the rocket and it would just blow all this away, but can't do that anymore. Actually, we're gonna need a ladder all the way up there anyway, so let's just do that. Mafic Rock, yeah, we got tons of that. And we're gonna need to come over this way, so let's just get ready to do that. And we need an astronaut. Do not have an astronaut ready. Okay, and that this population will go down one when we get one more astronaut in the rocket. Who should we train? Who's 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 into the science stuff? Matt, he's already in the in the other rocket. Do we have any other scientists? Uh, let's start from the bottom here. Oh, here we go. Camille. You're good at that stuff. You're also really good at mechatronics, but we'll send you off into space pretty soon here. Need some power for that gantry. Let's get that going. And some basic automation here. The switch. Manual control. Little stubby rocket. Now once you build the rocket, I think you can take away the floor and build like one on top of it. So we could put... Could we fit two here? Uh, Maybe. We could build like a whole bunch. We got lots of petroleum. Oxalite might be an issue. We might need two of these. Back. Let's get. Oh, save lag. Got some serious, some serious save lag there. Let's get this opened up. Maybe do another one of these here. I could have done it on that side instead. Might be easier. That's gonna get in the way of this in the future, so let's just stick it here. How much power do we got here? Not a whole lot of excess power. Gonna need another power line. Okay, now we need to let them in. Camille, get in that rocket. Then we can actually technically take another dupe on because they won't be consuming oxygen or our food. Also need to put the silo all the way along here. So let's do that. priority was that too. Let's make that a seven. And I forgot to check on my, my room down here. Too many projects. Okay, how are we doing here? We're making a vacuum into nowhere. This hasn't melted yet. Minus 97. 
They weren't able to build that. Okay, fair enough. Can't reach it. And I think we can safely seal this up. When that does melt, that's going to turn into water, turn into steam, and get blown up the thing here. That's weird. I'm surprised it's not melting. There's no air to conduct the heat. Let's do... Oh, we can't do that now. We sealed it. Okay. We might just have to pour some water in. So 160, yeah, that'll be good for this thing. Okay, uh, we gotta get all this air out of here first though. That won't take very long, I don't think. We're down to milligrams. And then we can use all this waste heat for useful power. Wow, this is taking a while. Check that out. <laughs> Poor Frankie, he's got the zombie spores. Got to make sure these tanks don't overflow. We're not really using the water. <laughs> I'll probably build a liquid oxygen thing so we can do liquid oxygen on our rockets. And if I'm going to do that, I might as well do liquid hydrogen. Maybe next episode. We got more pufflets. Okay. I'm not really using them. There's some pufflet eggs up here somewhere. On the ground. We got six of them. We could put them in a room somewhere with some polluted oxygen. I think I have a polluted oxygen room somewhere up here. Right here. Infectious polluted oxygen at 60 degrees. We could chuck a bunch of puffs in here and seal it up. I think I'll do that. Because why not? Uh, we don't want to deodorize anymore. Let's maybe do a an airlock here. And we need a some incubators just to get the eggs in there. Incubator steel? We don't need steel, we can do iron. Let's just go hog wild here. Why not? We got carbon dioxide and snow. We're not going to power these. We're just going to stick the eggs in them. When is this going to be ready? Active period. Oh, we haven't analyzed yet. Okay, let's do that as well. Oh, we don't have a researcher anymore, I don't think. And we can shear this off. Don't need that anymore. We will put a deodorizer down here just in case a little bit pops out. And then we'll lock them out. We'll get the puffs doing their thing. And we'll lock the dupes out so that they can build up a bunch of slime. Just gonna build up the floor here a bit. Let's make a proper floor. That's low priority, but they're doing it anyway. Lots of idle dupes. <laughs> Just to make this look a bit prettier, we'll put a tile in there. Okay, pufflet egg. You're going in. Oh, 
How's our rocket doing? We gotta just clear the way and I think we're good. Uh, assigned. No astronaut assigned. Uh, is this gonna be all weird again? Sometimes this happens. They never get in the rocket. This has happened to me many times. No matter what I do, they never get in. Make sure they can get in. I don't know if they can step over this. I kind of have a feeling they can't get there. Can they squeeze through that hole? I mean, they've been up here already, so... Chances are they can get up there. Maybe Camille's not allowed to do stuff. Can't remember where rockets are for all this stuff. Get down there, around there. That's reachable, so we don't really need that. Camille, get in the rocket. Maybe we have to choose a destination? I don't think so. Too far. Okay, we need a bit more fuel. I think I overdid it with the petroleum. No, that's good. This should all work based on the calculator. Maybe we have to go a bit higher. We'll go to 400. 400 and 400. Oh, we got 900 in there. That's why, probably. Yeah, we got too much petroleum, I think. So let's just set this to 900 for now. We'll back it off later. The other reason I made this small rocket is because... I'll show you in a sec here. We have no fullerene out there, except for this one carbon asteroid. We have trace amounts. Every other asteroid, no fullerene. No fullerene. It's like we... we the RNG is really, really bad. Unless they changed it. But yeah, we've got no fullerene anywhere out there. Anywhere. Maybe here. Maybe here. I should probably go here a few more times. But uh, there might be some up here. I don't know. But pretty sparse. Okay, we'll deal with that later. How do we get Camille in the, in the rocket? I don't think that's going to help. Because, uh... Yep. Yeah, let's back that off to nine. It's, it's something else. Something else is going on here. Uh, what are we up to here? 900, 900... Let's go get more fullerene. No astronaut. Come on. Let's go find Camille. Do we have one Camille or two? <laughs> Actually, let's do this so we can make sure we can see her easily. No, we can't scroll down. Oh, it's here. Okay. Camille, where are you and what are you doing? We've got lots of idle dupes and I do have a few dig projects going on. Let's get them doing that. Over here. Actually, kind of want to go down like this. Oh, can't have that. Be digging that forever. Oh, yeah, there were some idle dupes, that's for sure. Damage overheated. Something's overheating. <laughs> Don't know what it is. 
Okay, how are we doing in here? We got a vacuum. Okay, good. Let's deconstruct that vent. And pump a tiny bit of water in there. Vacuum. Yeah, this should be all good. Temperature 203. That should turn into steam. This might melt down. Okay, any water coming along the way here? Uh, not really. Eventually we'll get some. Not much salt water down here. Over there goes a little tiny bit, a little few dribbles. Tiny dribble. Half going that way. There we go, we got steam. And then that's gonna go there. Let's cycle that back into this room. I think I want to do this like that. So it'll just recycle that water. We'll need to input a bit more. It's good temperature steam though. I think this will work out nicely. I think I can get rid of these wheeze warts now. They're not working anyway. And I don't know what I'm going to do with this room here. I guess we'll just let it leak out. But the heat, some of the heat should get destroyed here. That's the idea. Maybe we can do another temp shift plate here. How much diamond do we have? Not much left. Okay, that's going there. This will eventually fill up with enough water. Do we get our astronaut in the rocket yet? I might have to reset the game. Sometimes this happens. Oh, what are you doing here? No. He does not belong there. We also have to open this up, so let's do that. Did she go in? No astronaut assigned. BS. Damn game. It's happened to me before. And it only fixed itself after a reset. Like a reload. So unfortunately I don't think we're gonna be able to launch this this episode, but at least we got it built and ready to go. And that should be clear now. I don't think those shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, if you guys know why the dupes don't go in the rocket, I think it's just a bug. Oh, let's kill this guy. He's kind of in the way. It's gonna cause us some problems. Get him. Killing babies. Okay, well, I guess we'll just continue to watch this and hope that Camille goes in. The thing is, if... Oh, here's Camille. Space mission. Personal needs. She was going there. And then she got hungry? Idle. Oh, she could work on the space mission, but it's not her top priority. Her top priority is to be idle. <laughs> what? Ranching. Let's try that again. 
Find a sign. A sign. Oh. 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 Camille, you're gonna do it. Yeah. Okay, are we good? Can we launch the sucker? We could go here. Yes, let's do it. We're wasting fuel here, but only a little bit. Rocket number two is off. Okay, good. Perfect. I think we can seal this up temporarily just to prevent any extra damage going on. Zombie spores eight. That's going to take a while to clear. Why was Dell showing up as different color? Hmm. Not sure. Just continue to collect some garbage on the portal. Oh, our Puffler. Puffler got away. <laughs> uh, we got some eggs in here, though. Let's try to get some more in there. Oh, we've used them all up. Something died in here. Incubation 24%. This thing goes off in 37 cycles. We might, def we might need to feed them something here. What could we stick in there? Nothing really. Hopefully they'll survive long enough. This is not a big uh, priority though, so... <laughs> we do have a lot of lumber we could be using for stuff, but... Oh, how did that chlorine vent go down here? Do we get it going? Or is it all frozen solid? It's all frozen solid. Where's my property? That's weird. We need to warm this area up quite a bit or stick the chlorine somewhere else. Let's put the chlorine Put the chlorine right in this hot area. And then we should get a chlorine explosion. That should just kill this off. Let's try that. So we need a IMAC dispenser. Okay, what's overheating? Desalinator. Uh oh. What did I make that out of? Gold amalgam. Let's replace that with steel. getting hot in here, folks. It's getting hot in here. I changed the natural gas routing a bit here. And the idea is if this container fills up, we turn on the, we enable the gas generators. Otherwise we turn them off with a knock gate. So basically if anything is backing up, if we're not burnt, if, yeah, if, if we got things backing up, then we'll just burn it off. And this polluted water is kind of getting out of control. I did put in some bristle blossoms here just to soak up some of the water. And that seems to be working okay. It was frozen in here earlier, but now it's getting warmer again. Well, that's good. Don't know where this water came from, but we'll mop it up. Probably ice melting. Yeah, we got... Things are warming up and little patches of ice are melting all over the place. These slicksters are been, have been doing really well. Actually, it's getting kind of cold down here. That's just too cold for them. Hmm. Oh, this is all freezing. Jeez. I ha oh, jeez. I had turned this off. Let's turn it back on. That was warming up this water down here, and I guess it just got too cold with all the ice in there. And we got power to burn, so let's do it. Let's turn that sucker on. Minus 17. Jeez, Louise. That didn't take long. This was nice and warm down here before. 
And it will be again. <laughs> Okay, let's plop the sweep only consumable or no liquefiable chlorine. Okay, if we let's see here, if we go and grab all this here. Temperature is just coming at 60 degrees. And this area is minus 140, yep. There they go. Get all that solid chlorine, where are they taking it? Hopefully to the right place. Uh, I think they're bringing it down here. Yeah, there they go. And 140 degrees. 142. That should warm up here. Might need a drop of liquid there. To conduct the heat. Let's move this over a bit. Okay, 112 tons of chlorine. That's going to take a while to melt. Unless we help it along with some liquid. Could just dump petroleum in there. This one I have to watch, because if I forget about this, it's going to be a complete disaster. And we'll put a background tile there, temperature plate, just to help. Help that along. That should help. Yeah, we want to keep these guys nice and warm. This will help keep this area warm down here. We do have a brain upgrade thing here, neural vacillator. I'm gonna get some other dupes upgraded here. Let's do Devin. This isn't broken because it's got no floor, it's underwater kind of. Where's Devin? Doesn't he want to get in here? Expand his mind? Oh, Devin, where are you? Okay, now we got petroleum. How's that doing? Let's stop that. Minus 141.7, there it's going, there it's going, okay. That's working. Okay, that'll eventually melt. We'll have a chlorine explosion, maybe. And we'll kill off all these germs. Maybe, we'll find out. And then we'll have a bunch of chlorine gas in the air we'll have to deal with. That's not the end of the world. Devin, can you get on this thing? I think you can. And yeah, we got a lot of CO2 down here. Five kilograms. These guys are just gobbling it up. Oh, it's working. It's working. Okay, it's working. There we go. Now that should make its way up to the CO2 oxygen boundary, which is around here, which is not great. Because <laughs> that's getting close to the base, uh, which is not really sealed. 
Hey, you. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of that baby. I'm sorry. <laughs> Everyone goes to kill the. Oh. The sound. The sound it makes. Stick an airlock here, or what? No, let's make it so they can only. We can make it so they only go out with suits. Or we don't trap anyone out there. I'm gonna have to change this up here. Can I do this? Nope. Not allowed. Why am I building these out of metal? I don't know. They've got good decor. I set my default priority to something like seven and not two. Oh, I just realized they can get out quite easily because <laughs> I put this. Uh... <laughs> um. Maybe that's okay. No, there's no, there's no way for them in unless they come all the way around here. No, they can't get back. Okay, they're trapped. <laughs> I've trapped them. They can come... No, they can't get that way either. I think I just trapped them in there. Change of plans. Let's get rid of that. Pretty sure that dupe is trapped. So we gotta let them back in. <laughs> and make sure none of them get stuck out there. And this tube. I have to rethink that. Hey, they're going through the door. They're not allowed to go through the door. Okay, sealed, sealed, sealed. Sealed. It's all sealed. We got an airlock here at least. We could put a liquid lock after the after this area. That's all sealed. So now I think we're rough kind of airtight. We got this CO2 building up here though. And we've got our coal generators <laughs> in the base. Uh, we could just pipe it down, filter and pipe it down to our slicksters. Or just pump it out of the base. That's an option. Yeah, we could just have a pump here. What's the lowest point? Lowest point's down here. Let's do that. We'll put a pump here. And we'll filter it, because we like to waste power. And we'll send the CO2 down here.
I want to send it there. I don't want to actually send it down all the way. Whoa. <laughs> Try that again. For now, we'll send it right here. Outside the liquid lock. Everything else will probably be oxygen, so we'll send that right there. High pressure vent. Yeah, that's probably fine. And we're going to need power. Power on this line is pretty... 0.8. Uh, just use this line. We've got this petroleum loop going here. This doesn't really need power anymore. In fact, we could probably turn that off. What's the temperature in here like? Minus four. Yeah, I think we're good. I don't think we need to keep keep this going. Let's turn this off. And I gotta do some detection here. So filtered CO2. Wait a minute. There we go. Carbon dioxide. Pump that out. And we'll put a sensor here too somewhere. We want a gas element sensor. If there's any CO2 right here, we'll turn it on. That should keep the CO2 at bay, I think. As long as it can move over this way and fall down. We could help that out a bit. Maybe not there. Don't really need this here anymore. Okay, we want unbreathable. If we detect CO2. Okay, good. That should get that CO2 out of there. Okay. What else do we got on the portal here? Free glass. I like it. Uh... I'm trying to get everyone in snazzy suits, and we only have a few left here, so let's get Matt. Oh, Matt's in the rocket. Speaking of rockets, how are we doing? It's back already. Let's get some... Let's make sure this is... I think it was 332. Let's go 333. We've already put... Oh, we've already put 900 in here. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, let's try lucky 444 here. And I'll keep, keep edging it down. Now this was breaking on me occasionally. Right now it seems to be okay. But occasionally this, my power line was getting melted. Even though it's all steel, which makes no sense. But so far... It's working. Got oxalate trapped in the bottom there. Okay, how are we doing here? That's good. Let's make sure we can launch here. Yep, that's good. Let's retract the gantry here. Short little mission. Now, if we were using liquid oxygen, we could fully automate this and it could just go back and forth. But because we have to stick oxalate in there, no go. Let's take a look here. How are we doing? How's the chlorine? Oh, it's made its way up here. It's kind of creeping up and cleansing as it goes, but now we got Tommy spores here again. Hmm. And that's a save lag again. 
Even though I have it only every 20 cycle. 10 or 20? Yeah, this is... This is good in terms of cleaning, but I don't like having chlorine everywhere. Where is emptying? Okay. Oh, I think they're on it. Very disturbing looking. <laughs> yeah, Gossman's on the... He's on the, uh... He's on the... On task there. Okay. When this turns back on in 46 cycles, we'll, uh... Get a little bit of power out of there. Okay. I think I'm going to wrap things up here. I got some stuff done. Everyone is running. Why is everyone running? We got solar power, we got full batteries. Kind of full batteries. I guess they're getting their work out. Since they're trapped in the base. Not really, but... Getting a workout, getting faster. Keeps them from being idle. Not sure what I'm going to do next. we got to continue digging out the map. Don't have to, but could. And we haven't tapped all the oil yet. So there's lots of oil we could be tapping. So many oil reservoirs on this map. And we got so much extra water. But we don't really need the power. Well, actually, there's dupes running on the wheel, but... <laughs> Get this going. We could add more of these. Petroleum generators. Could also get into the ethanol thing since we have a bunch of lumber. Yeah, let me know what you think I should do next. Uh, liquid oxygen. Ooh, liquid oxygen and hydrogen is definitely on the menu, I think. If I'm going to continue this map, I'm still undecided. I got another few series I need to wrap up. I think we're going to call it here. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you all next time.